There are a couple different ways that you can get an erection. Some guys have an inflatable ball put into their scrotum sac so that you can literally pump it up. Top surgery, the kind that you get depends on the size of the chest that you have. So sometimes you get double incision where they cut underneath and they take all of the tissue out and then they stitch it back up and you have scars. Then there's one called keyhole where they just go in, it's for people with a smaller chest and they take it all out through a smaller hole. It's Either way, about six to 10 weeks of recovery where you can't pick anything up. Some people have their nipples regrafted. Typical male nipples are about this size. So um, some people have bigger ones and so they'll, they'll have those shrunk down. And that's really complicated because it's basically like a skin graft, which means that sometimes the skin can fall off and you wake up with your nipple on your sheet. Bottom surgery can mean all kinds of things. They have a thing called a metoidioplasty. That's where they take the genital organ that's already right sitting up here and they cut the, uh, the tendon so that it hangs forward. The clitoris actually gets bigger when you start doing testosterone, so it gets to a size since size matters. You can also have uh, silicone balls inserted into the labia, like those high bounce balls. You can have these balls in inserted into your labia, which then creates what looks like a scrotum, so that when they look down, it looks like there's a penis there, and that is their penis. And this is the thing that we have to think about. For a lot of trans guys, a lot of guys don't call what they were born with, their vagina. That's really triggering. The sexiest conversation you can have with a person is what do you call that and how should I touch it? Then we have this idea of the phalloplasty. They take part of a muscle from your calf, they take the hairless smooth skin from your arm, they do a series of grafts and they attach it to the clitoris so that you have like a sense of feeling it. Uh, they extend the urethra in a lot of uh, surgeries so that you can pee. There are a couple different ways that you can get an erection using that. Some guys have an inflatable ball put into their scrotum sac so that you can literally pump it up. This is something that cis guys get after they've had prostate cancer. We have to also really stop thinking about sex as all about the penis. Sex is about so much more than just having an erection and putting it in a vagina or a butthole. The genitals question is like the gateway drug. I like it when people are curious. We have to be curious about life. I do wish that I could have more than one conversation with people. I'm a person who reads. I'm a person who loves television. I love yoga. We could talk about yoga forever. There are so many things that I'd actually much rather talk about. Ask yourself before you ask me the question, what are you trying to do? Rather than this just being like, you're trans, this is what I know about you, so just stay over there. I'm gonna put you in this box, you know? Mm -hmm.